Hey everyone, John here. Welcome back to another Topo Talk. This is part of a Mauser pistol. And this was shared with me this morning and I walked through a couple of things that could be fine-tuned with a topology. And I thought it'd be a great chance to do it again for a Topo Talk. So this was kindly shared with me. And let's just jump straight in. So we've got this area here, a couple of triangles. If we press Control R, the edge flow is not happening through there and it's not working through there. You can see it's terminating at the triangle. So we need to get rid of those and just make this flow a little better. I'm just going to slide that across and just bring that across a bit. And let's see what we'll do is first of all, select that one and that one, and we can just press ML and that gets the edge flow working there. That's good. And it's going to slide that across a bit. All right. So now we've got a couple of triangles there. Now we could dissolve this like that. Okay. And it kind of gives us some weird stuff going on here. We've got this pole on the leading edge. So we'll, we won't do that. What we'll do, I've got a better solution. We'll take this through here to the back. Just make sure that goes all the way through. We've got an issue here. Let's just cut that in there and dissolve that. Okay, good. And now we can get rid of that and that. And we've got this here. So we can't, well, we don't really want to sort of terminate it there. We've got to terminate it probably up here, but this is actually a good thing. It's going to bring it up there like that. Control X to get rid of that. So that's all working well now. We've got that going on there. What we could also do is just slide this one down. And this could be part of the sharpening process for this corner, part of the sharpening solution. You could put another one in there to do that. It's going to ignore that for now. So we've got this, we've, we've put it in there and it's helped us down here, but now we've got to take it up through here. And this is an important point I wanted to cover with you. I think I've talked about it before, but when you're working on, you know, a complex model, like a gun or something like that, you're going to have areas that are a little more difficult and you might end up with a loop that you can't terminate. And rather than agonizing about it, what I generally do is I'll leave it and I'll go and work on something else. And often, when I'm working on another thing, I can find a solution for that problem that I was having. So up here, it appears that this is a bit stretched, right? And doesn't seem to have enough geometry. Well, I'm now about to introduce more geometry up here, so we can definitely use that. So fixing down here has helped us fix up here. Okay, so it's a good thing to remember. Don't agonize over issues until really there's no other way except to attack that you know, that issue, because everything else is already finished. I'm going to bring that up through there. And before I cut that through, I'm just going to take these and just slide them across and just really improve that tension. Same with these ones. Now I could do an x-ray and just grab them that way, but I'm just going to slide them back like this and just move this up like that, right? Just go into vert mode and just do a little bit of sliding around just to even these up a bit. So it's not perfect, but it's, you know, it's much better. So see how that's actually even that out a bit more. The tension is going to be much better. Now I'll probably just take this one out again. Just get rid of it. And I've got this little extra one in there. I'll get rid of that and can bring this one across. across there and bring this one straight through like that. Okay. And I will go to x-ray mode this time and just bring that up. Okay, I'm just eyeballing that. And then we can just cut that through here like this. Okay. So definitely much better. And fixing the issue down here has helped us fix an issue up here. All right. Really nice. So don't agonize over small areas if you've got other things to do, especially areas that are close to that, to that area that you're working on. All right. Okay, so that's one area. That looks pretty good. Let's take a look at this area down here now. So I've got this 
diamond here. These are our quads and it's going to be fine. It's going to um, render okay. But it could be a little cleaner. And I've got this quad here and I can definitely uh, cut a loop through here to fix this, which is going to help us over here. So we'll do that first. We'll bring that up through because that helps us divide those longer faces as well, which is a good thing. And I'll bring that all the way through to there like that. Okay. All right. So let's see. We'll bring that to there. Let's dissolve that and that like that. Okay. So then we'll cut that one to there. So we've we got quad, quad, quad. Okay. So they're all quads. But now we've got a, a, a triangle there. But here's that same thing. That same issue, well, not an issue. The same, um, the same benefit. If I just select this and slide this up, this actually could do with a little extra sharpening. I need an extra loop through here, and now I've just given it to myself just by fixing up this geometry. So if I just cut this through here like this, boom. Now I can just cut this here. And what this is going to do, if we just put this under a subdivision surface, it actually makes this straighter because we've got a little more um, geometry to hold this uh, straight. And that's important with these kind of insets on this gun. You can see they're a little bit rounded in certain areas. So let me just get rid of that again. And that's looking pretty good, right? The geometry is much better. It's cleaner. And we fixed up two areas for the price of one. All of this could be evened out a little bit more, but overall that's looking much better. If I find some other issues on here, I might do another topo talk on this piece, but um, hopefully that was useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next topo talk.